Hey y'all, let's take a look at exponential expressions and radicals. Okay. Very quickly, just make sure you don't like let these chapter titles completely get away from you. Like these, well, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, what is an exponent? You know what that means, right? What's an expression? Well, it's different from an equation, right? An equation has an equal sign and you solve it. An expression just means a string of terms together. You kind of simplify it and you're done. It's just almost like practicing to solve equations. So you just make sure you don't like let it all just like slip away from here or whatever. What's a radical? This is a radical, right? Yep, right there. Okay. So they will tell you evaluate, which means find the value of this m squared if m is equal to 9. Well, all you do is you just stick this number in there for m. So what it looks like is this. So that's going to be 9 squared, which is 92. No, I'm just going to make it. That means 9 times 9, which is, of course, 90. No, it's not 80. 81. Remember that old Calvin and Hobbes, like, he's like trying to, he's stuffing like Hobbes under his desk. He's like, and during a math test, he's like, seven plus three. Hobbes is like, 73. Seemed funny in 1990. Anyway, okay. All right, let's try another one. Evaluate four to the x power if x is equal to three. Well, I, yeah, you just plop it in there. There's the four already. The x we say is three, so four to the third power. And of course, that means four times four times four, which is... 444. That's 64. So there we go. Piece of cake. Okay. How about this one? That's kind of weird looking. The nth root of 8 if n is equal to 3. Well, again, don't make this complicated. Copy the thing down. Instead of an n, put a 3 in there. That means what number times itself 3 times gives you 8. The cube root of 8, which of course is 2. There we go. Okay. One more. The cube root of n. N is 27. You're just gonna now you can do this mentally if you want to. I'm just writing it down for you to see if you're a visual learner. The cube root of 27, of course, is I won't give away the answer here. I'll just you have to earn it. Like connect the dots. So I'll pause it while you draw on your computer screen. Just take like a permanent magic marker and just, you know, if it's dad's computer especially, if he does work on it, just take a permanent map. Yeah, the answer is three. Okay. All right. Try the practice problems on page 155, and I'll do them right here, and you can pause it one at a time if you want. Okay, go to it. All right. This one will be 2 to the x power. x equals 4. That means you're going to go 2 to the fourth power. Well, that means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which will give you, which will give you 16. There you go. Okay. And let me see. I think I'm doing the wrong order here. I'm making sure I'm in the right order. Okay, the next one is x to the third. Okay, so this one here. If x is 5, x to the third power. So you're just going to go, okay, well, that's 5 to the third power. Well, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. There we go. All right, 27, uh, the n root of 27. If n is 3, it means it's the cube root of 27. And we know the answer to that is 3. And the n root of 81, if n is 2, that means just the square root of 81. You don't even have to write it. We know it's a 2 there, which will just give you 9. 9 times 9 is 81. That's all there is to it. Okay. Have a great time today with your uh, radicals and expressions and all that kind of jazz. So I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Take care.